thank you thank you for tuning in so this one is for the grade 12s life sciences um it's the topic that we're going to be doing is plants response to the environment which basically includes like the hormones and yeah all that stuff i know a lot of people don't like this topic because it's plants and what's the point but i hope by the end of the video you understand it a bit more yeah so oh and okay so the content is coming from this book the answer series uh i really really do hope you guys have it if you do use it it's really it's a really cool book so yeah um i think we should get started <laughs> let's do this okay so to start off you need to know like what are plant hormones plant hormones are basically like organic compounds that occur in small concentrations like yeah in the plant so just know that definition and then there are three main types of plant hormones to so auxins okay this word please don't crucify me if i pronounce it incorrectly gibberellins yeah gibberellins and your abscisic acid those are three main ones and then we're going to start off with auxins auxins are found in the apical meristem of a plant for those of you who do not know what that is in the apical meristem is basically the growing tip of the plant so okay this is so hot oh my god i'm like sweaty okay but anyways yeah the apical meristem is the growing tip of the plant so that is where auxins are found there are several fun um functions of auxins but for like sake of time and to not make this video longer than it should be i'm going to focus on the most important one which well i think and which they like examining a lot auxins play a role in apical dominance and apical dominance is when the high concentration of the auxins inhibits the growth of the plant um to be like wider so it can allow it to grow taller because plants actually compete with other plants to be as tall as possible so they can be able to like get as much sun and be able to photosynthesize so yeah auxins um play a role in that so but then if now the the tip which is the apical meristem is damaged this stops and then the plant will continue to grow wider and wider and wider that's why you notice a lot of people like trimming their plants and whatever so that they become bushier and all that stuff when they trim it they basically remove the the apical meristem and with that then it will make the plant <laughs> wider <laughs> so yeah okay yeah so another function that of auxins um that i think is important is tropism tropism is basically the growth of a plant in relation to external stimuli there are two types <laughs> it's phototropism and geotropism phototropism is the growth of a plant in relation to light photo light and geotropism is the growth of a plant in relation to gravity geo gravity okay geo is not necessary anyways yeah so those are two types of tropism okay and also another thing that you need to remember they like asking this question guys i'm not kidding you okay so you need to remember that in 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 stems right a high concentration of auxins promotes growth and then in roots a high concentration of auxins inhibits growth so yeah those are just two main things that you just need to keep in mind so yeah in terms of like phototropism how can how can if i can explain it further so if you like place a, a stem or whatever and it grow it grows upright right because the sun is, is like there so it's it's growing <laughs> and then if you would do an experiment and then you would place the light source this way this side the the stem would bend because it grows in re like towards where the light is so yeah that's what that's what happens and then with geotropism is basically if you notice roots when they grow they bend downwards because of the effects of gravity so yeah those are just your, your two phenomenons <laughs> yeah okay so the next one is gibberellins 
not really gonna explain Jibberlins much because their functions are quite straightforward. It's basically like do all the cute stuff like uh, promote germination of seeds, root growth, they promote flowering, stem elongation, you know, all those type of things. So just study those and just know them. And then the third hormone is abscisic acid. So the first two hormones that we we're talking about are growth promoters. They basically promote growth. And then this one, abscisic acid, it inhibits growth. So abscisic acid, okay, I'm just going to, this is a summary, basically. Abscisic acid kicks in when there are harsh conditions, like in winter. So they cause dormancy of the terminal and lateral buds. And they also cause dormancy in seeds, which inhibit germination because a plant needs like proper conditions. I mean, a seed needs proper conditions like water, light to germinate, to ensure the best possible growth rates and all that stuff. And also the reason why this hormone is called abscisic acid is because it causes abscission, which is basically in simple terms, falling, it causes the falling of plants in or i mean of leaves in autumn like when a tree loses its leaves that's abscisic acid and it also causes flowers to fall that's that's abscisic acid and then also when the plant is wilting it causes the stoma the stoma to close and when the stoma is closed that obviously prevents water loss so abscisic acid is yeah it's an inhibitor it protects the plant it makes sure it makes sure that the plant survives harsh conditions so yeah those are our three hormones and then also another thing um that's in this topic is basically um how plants protect themselves um physically plants protect themselves by thorns that's like a huge thing thorns are not there just <laughs> they're there to protect the the plant from be like their leaves or their fruit or whatever from being eaten by herbivores so that's one thing and also like you find plants that have like a really really thick 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 cuticle that is also a way to pr protect the plant because some most animals or insects or whatever won't want to eat it because of that thick cuticle and another way is by having hairs like you know this is a coconut coconut has a really thick skin with like hair that's also a way of a plant to protect itself from being eaten <laughs> and then there's also chemical ways of protecting and that would be like certain poisons like if plants eat yeah i'm not really gonna get into much into that because they don't really examine it much but you can go through it please go through it you know just in case they woke up one day and they were like mm, let's ask this so yeah guys that is it for today thank you so much for tuning in i really hope you did like it please feel free to ask me questions please feel free to be like hey what did you mean there yeah like please 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 do that and like subscribe and tell everybody that you know and yeah it's um great tells i really wish you all the best with your prelims trials whatever you call it i wish you all the best study hard and i'm here i'm here like ask me stuff i really could help i was once where you are so yeah thank you so much for tuning in Bye bye